Hey guys, welcome to the WWE Recap Show. That's Recap with a W. Today we're going to be going over Raw, SmackDown, 205 Live, NXT, same as usual. Next week we will most likely be doing a WrestleMania, uh, WrestleMania special. Um, just going over the picks of what I've got for the week for the WrestleMania and also NXT Takeover. So look forward to that. All right, first we're going to kick it off with Raw. I'm going to get it out of the way. I did not like Raw whatsoever this week. I actually watched it. I don't usually get to watch any of the, uh, the, the any of the graps. I watched Raw this week, and I tell you what, I it was hard to sit through, man. Really hard to sit through. Right, so Raw kicked off with Mick Foley getting fired by Stephanie McMahon. So Mick Foley came out. He had these cards. He threw them away. He got pretty angry. Uh, just put, like kind of sh shooted, shooted shot, shot shooted a bit. Um, and so Steph fired him. <laughs> um, then Zane comes out, such and such and such, blah blah blah, boring stuff. Uh, then uh, Sami Zayn and Samoa Joe had a match. Uh, Joe beats him. Same usual stuff. Glad that Joe beat Zayn. Kind of sad that the they're, they're fighting so much because we're gonna get the match at Mania. So kind of don't see it too much. Uh, then it cuts to a backstage segment with Mick Foley. Now, Mick Foley was walking through the backstage saying goodbye to some people. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I love you, love you, love you. People were saying, oh, I love you too. Um, and yeah, and then sees uh, Triple H right at the end. Triple H just cuts a bit of a promo on him. Says, have a nice day right at the end. So it's pretty dope, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It was boring. Most of it was boring. Um, and then Charlotte then has a match with Dana Brooke and absolutely kills her. Don't know why that was a match. I, I know it follows on from last year's... Sorry, not last year's. Last week's uh, edition with um, Dana Brooke turning face. But what what does that have to do with anything? Like, going into Mania? Nothing. has nothing to do with it. Um, then we had the highlight reel with uh, Chris Jericho. His special guest was Kevin Owens. Chris Jericho pretty much just cut a mad promo and Kevin Owens showed some stuff on the screen. It was a very cool promo, very cool. Uh, Chris Jericho is amazing. Chris Jericho has always been amazing. Um, then Samoa Joe comes out, distracts uh, distracts Chris Jericho. KO comes out, destroys Chris Jericho, pop up power bomb, you know, just gets some mad heat on him. Um, then we had uh, um, Brian Kendrick versing uh, TJ Perkins. Good match. Kendrick won. At the end, Kendrick kind of showed a passport of Akira Tozawa. Another life lesson. Another more boring stuff. Um, then we had a, a no-dig queue match between Nia Jax and Bailey. Don't know why we have another match between Nia Jax and Bailey. Uh, the the stipulation was that if Jax wins, Jax get, gets into the triple threat at Mania. Um, well, Jax won, obviously, so it's going to now be a fatal four-way. It was very weird because we had uh, we had little images of Sasha and Charlotte watching the screen. I don't know why Sasha didn't come down and help or Charlotte didn't come down and help Bailey. Like I know the faces and heels. Like with Charlotte, it's more understandable, but it would have made the match easier. Like ugh, it's just stupid. <laughs> and then then we had uh, uh, Michael Cole and Triple H sit down interview in ring. Triple H just pretty much said. Um, he just, he wanted Seth Rollins at Mania, just call back to what he used to say to, uh, Seth Rollins. Um, it's good, Triple H just cuts a good promo, it was good. Then we had, uh, Sheamus and Cesaro, uh, battling the club and Enzo and Cass. This was really stupid, uh, no point in this match, it was really quick, uh, it was pretty much the whole build-up was just, um, it's just Stephanie McMahon coming out. Going, well, coming backstage and saying, "Hey, look, you supported, uh, you supported Mick Foley. It's this saying, um, Chambers and Cesaro. You supported Mick Foley, so I'm gonna put you in a two-on-one handicap match. It's weird. Um, and and if they had lo and if they lost the match, they're out of the, they're out of the uh, triple threat at Mania. Um, the, the, before the match started, the club destroyed Enzo and Cass. It was weird." Like, they destroyed their teammates to make it harder on themselves. So, of course, Sheamus and Cesaro ended up winning. Um, stupid. <laughs> uh, 
Um, then we had uh, Austin Aries, or as I like to call him, A Double, defeating Tony Nese. Good match. I mean, the two or five live guys have always have good matches. Um, then we had uh, Reigns versus Strowman. Um, ended in no contest because Undertaker came out. Yay, Undertaker, Mr. Old. Um, and Undertaker comes out, choke slams Braun Strowman. Then he gets speared by Reigns. And Reigns goes up to the ramp, looks back. Undertaker sits up. Show ends with Undertaker doing his eye thing. Ugh, boring. <laughs> um, let's go. Let's move on to SmackDown. I loved SmackDown. I watched all the highlights and everything. So uh, what I what, my streaming service doesn't have SmackDown on it. Um, SmackDown was awesome this week. Uh, started off with Styles in ring, um, cutting an in ring promo and Shane McMahon accepting the match for Mania. Really cool. Um, so glad that's going to happen. I was really, as I said last week, I was really a bit scared of the match, but now I really, really, it's their, it's their A program. I'm really happy about it. Um, then we had the Usos versus American Alpha for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. I don't know why they're doing it now. It's kind, kind of weird, but I'm so glad that the Usos won this match. So glad. I was, oh, sorry, but... I've been been calling for the Usos to actually win the well the newest new Usos to win the tag team titles. They finally have, so I'm so happy about it. And it was such a good match. I, I said on Twitter, I said that the that the whole Usos American Alpha match was better than all of Raw. So that 20, 15, 20 minutes was better than that three hours of programming that WWE put on Monday. Oh, it was so good the match. Um, and we had uh, <laughs> another thing that was amazing. We had uh, a Total Bellas uh, bullshit segment. Now, what the Total Bellas bullshit segment is, is pretty much just Miz and Maurice dressing up like John and Nikki and uh, <laughs> and uh, parodying Total Bellas. Uh, pretty much, Nikki's just stuck up, wants to get married um, in, in the bullshit segment. And John's just this fool. Imagine like an army camp guy. Like when you go to boot camp, you got the commander of the army guy there who's all like big, big shoulders, straight back, got all these rules. That's pretty much what John was like. Uh, so it was still very cool. Um, really funny. Uh, then we had uh, Orton, uh, Randy Orton versus Baron Corbin. Uh, when I saw that this match was announced, I was so happy because I love Baron Corbin and Orton is such a good worker. So I knew that they would put on a great match and they did. They put on an amazing match again. And uh, Orton won, which is understandable. I would have preferred Corbin to win because I feel like I hope at least Corbin wins next week because I feel like he needs more of a more of a push kind of thing if he's going to win at Mania, which I hope he does. Um, so I have to see it next week. But uh, after the match, Ambrose comes out, accepts accepts Corbin's challenge at Mania. Um, so now we're definitely going to have Ambrose versus Corbin at uh, WrestleMania, which is going to be awesome. Uh, and then Dirty Deeds him. <laughs> then uh, we had. Uh, Orton and Wyatt backstage segment, pretty much. Um, I don't know what uh, Bray Wyatt calls them. The, his buzzards, I think, maybe. Um, the guys with the sheep masks. I don't know. Like his, the, uh, Undertake, Bray Wyatt's version of Undertaker's druids, pretty much. Uh, they captured Orton. Then um, Bray Wyatt was kind of just talking to him. Um, which is cool. It's a good promo. Bray Wyatt's a good talker. Then we had a uh, Cena. <laughs> this is really funny. I'm really enjoying the Cena and Nikki and Miz and Ray stuff. It's really cool. Then we had a uh, Cena versus Fandango with Breezy Bella. Now Breezy Bella was Tyler Breeze dressed up as Nikki Bella. Uh, it's funnier than you think it would be. Um, so <laughs> at the end of the match, they had uh, well, we had John Cena winning, but before the end of the match, we had um. Nikki Bella coming out, they both got, <laughs> they both got their, their respective, respective uh, counterparts up for an AA, um, John Cena got uh, Fandango, and Nikki Bella, buddy Superwoman, got um, Breezy Bella, Asia, 
Um, but I forgot his name. A Tyler Breeze got Tyler Breeze on his on his shoulders. Two hundred pound man, so it's easy one one twenty kilos. Man, I tell you what. Oh, strong strong chick, eh? Um, got her up and did the rack attack two point oh, which is pretty much like a an AA into a diamond cutter, which is really cool move. I really like it. Um, so that was very cool. Um, very cool match. Uh, it's, they both got him in the, the fearless lock and the STFU. I don't know what they're calling John's. Maybe they're calling that the fearless lock as well. No idea. Um, and then after that was cool. And then after that we had uh, Shane come out, call out AJ Styles. AJ and Shane fight. They have a brawl. And then at, at the end to end the show, <laughs> AJ gets put on the announce table. Shane goes up to the top rope. Um, does that classic jump from the top rope, puts AJ through the table. Now, the funny thing about that is that he completely missed him, but the camera angle made it look like he hit him. But if, if you actually look closely, <laughs> Shane completely <laughs> misses AJ. <laughs> and so when I saw him going up to the top rope, I was like, nah, he's going to miss him. He's going to die up there. Like, oh, it was really cool to see. And I'm really excited about their fight. But still, it looked like <laughs> it looked like he was gonna miss him, and he did miss him. Sad that he missed him. Still, very cool segment. All right, then we had two five live after that, and we had uh, Tony Anise defeating uh, T J Perkins. It's fine. Tony Anise is cool. T J Perkins is cool. You guys know what my feels about uh, about two five live. Um, if, if you listen last week, you do. Um, I don't have a problem with their matches. I always put on good matches. Uh, then we had Akira Tozawa defeating Brian Reynolds, I believe it is. Um, I've just got last names on my on my on my list. Uh, it's cool. Then Kendrick com- Brian Kendrick comes out after and attacks Akira Tozawa. Um, gives him a gives him a lesson, you know, their whoop de doo stuff. Um, then Austin Aries comes out, uh, gives gives his promo against Neville. He uh, ends up going on. Uh, uh, commentary for the um, the uh, 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 the Neville um, Ali match, really cool match. Uh, Neville wins by submission, and like it was really really good match by Mustafa Ali and Neville. Like they put in a classic, I reckon. Um, I wouldn't say uh, I wouldn't say one of the best matches of I uh, know you know I would say one of the best matches of Two or Five Live. They do put on some great matches. I was um. I find it very interesting that we didn't see um, Jack Gallagher this week. Um, I may be wrong on that, but from what I saw, I didn't see him at all. Um, so that was very interesting. Um, so Neville defeats Ali by a submission, and he's got him in his like little kind of like Nelson um, bar thing, whatever they call it, and he's looking straight at um, a double Austin Aries. So that's very cool. Um, and that was 2-5 Live. Alright, let's go on to NXT. Uh, NXT, uh, Almas defeats, uh, Lorcan, Oni, Oni Lorcan, and CN Almas, I don't know, I, for, I can't, can't pronounce it. Um, I don't really like CN, just, just boring. <laughs> um, still, really good worker. I like Lorcan, um, I'm not being racist or anything. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, really cool. Um, I don't, I don't like... CN's wrestling style, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, very cool dude. Um, then we had Asuka defeating Priscilla, which Priscilla's just an enhancement talent, I'm guessing. Um, good match. Asuka's always puts on a good match. Surprise. I, I understand why they didn't have this last, but I, I kind of wish that they would have a, a women's match on the last... Um, on the last... Uh, as, as the last main event, or as the main event, they just, you know, because it always seems like they get, I'm not going to say they play second fiddle, but they always are in the middle of the card, which is fine, but, you know, I just like to see Asuka at the at the end, it'd be cool, I reckon. Um, then Asuka, after the match, gets the microphone, yells in Japanese, um, and then says, then says, uh, uh, Black Moon, or whatever Ember Moon's thing is, so I guess it's going to be that, the thing at NXT TakeOver 
in two Saturdays. Um, then we had Saturday versus No Way Jose, Roderick Strong, and Ty Dillinger. Ended in a no contest. That was fine. Good match by the by the six men. Um, there was a point in the match where um, Nikki Cross uh, jumped on Dillinger's back, and then uh, a new girl debuts. I don't think we know her name, but uh, she debuted and um, took care of Nikki Cross and completely destroyed her, which was really cool to see. Uh, Nikki Cross gets some proper, some, um, some proper contest, you know, um, a proper challenger and somebody that can actually side with Jose Strong and Dillinger. Um, so maybe there's going to be a mixed tag. I don't know. Maybe something at takeover. It's going to be cool. Um, and faces stand tall down the show, you know, same as usual. Um, so yeah, really cool. I reckon it was a really good week for, for, um, WWE. Oh, and I've, I've missed something on SmackDown, actually. I missed the Lynch versus Carmella match. Uh, that ended in no contest because all the women wrestlers just ended up brawling because they're going to have that big match at Mania. Um, so that's what I missed for SmackDown. Otherwise, uh, I've got it. I think I've got everything down. Um, really good week of wrestling. Um, now if you'd like to, I think that'd be it. If you'd like to, uh, like and subscribe, please, that'd help me out heaps. I'm really trying to get my, um, my subscriber and fan base up heaps so I can start pumping out more videos, more videos. Cause I really want to make more videos. Um, I really want to start making some gaming videos. I'm just trying to get the right equipment for it. All right, so that'll end the, that'll end the uh, recap show. Thanks, guys, for listening, um, and I'll see you next week.